What's up, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solana, welcoming you to BYU as Sen right now. We are going into a weekend full of our kooks in the NFL, but before we get there, I've got a vocabulary lesson for you. Sound the class bell, but not the fire bell, because Coach Pope wants all the smoke. Let's go. It's Friday. Congrats, y'all. We made it to the weekend, and thank goodness we did, because we have a lot of our coups in the NFL coming up. Let's start by recognizing Sione Takitaki's five total tackles in the Cleveland Browns' win over the Bengals yesterday. Now that we've reviewed, let's preview what we have to look forward to this upcoming weekend. Michael Davis and the Chargers take on Daniel Sorensen and the Chiefs. Fred Warner and the Niners play Harvey Longy and the Jets. Calvin Noy and the Dolphins will host the Bills. And Jamal Williams and the Packers will play the Lions. I especially love seeing the matchups between our kids, even if it does make it kind of hard to decide who to cheer for. Except if the Niners are playing. Then it's not a question. Sorry, not sorry. Football. I think everyone's thrilled to have it back. Other emotions that come with football being back? Happiness, joy, excitement, elation, delight, rejoicing, and maybe a little bit of jealousy. In fact, I'd like to quickly do a vocabulary lesson today. Listen up, class. Actually, wait. Listen up, class, because this will best help describe some of the emotions of college football. Today, we define the word FOMO. FOMO, or the fear of missing out, is a noun described by the Oxford Dictionary as an anxiety that an exciting or interesting event may currently be happening elsewhere, often aroused by posts seen on a social media website. Let me use today's vocabulary word in a sentence. Conferences not playing college football are experiencing a little FOMO, and understandably so. Moving right along with this, with the Big Ten's recent announcement for the late return to college football, rumors have started that the Pac-12 and the Mountain West are also trying to make a triumphant return to the stage of college football. Because again, FOMO and other things. Obviously, there are still a lot of decisions to be made by commissioners, government officials, and well, anyone high up in authoritative positions. Honestly, in my opinion, the more football, the better. So please, join us. We've patiently been waiting for you. But you gotta admit, it's kind of funny. You can sit here if you want. Yeah, it's okay. I had never seen anything so beautiful in my life. As for non-football fall sports, the NCAA has announced a proposal to move fall sport championships to the spring. In addition to this, the Division I Council also extends the recruiting dead period. The Division I Board of Directors have received these proposals, and now we wait and see what they decide. Um, I actually didn't, we're not gonna wait right now, so we're just gonna keep going. There's been a lot of schedule changes in college athletics with COVID-19. I told you guys Wednesday that NCAA basketball is returning November 25th. I also told you that we don't know what this will mean for our coup schedule, which is true. But now head coach Mark Pope is shedding some light on what he hopes this means for this season's games. We have a ton of things we need to figure out, but I don't want this season to go by without us of having every possible opportunity to play the best competition in the country so that we can prove who we are. This is one of the many reasons I love Coach Pope. He ain't scared. He believes in his guys. And well, this has worked well in the past. Actually, since I'm longing for hoops to be back already, let me remind you just how well this worked last season. It's when it gets tough, right? It's when we don't feel right. It's when the game is on the line. Here's TJ Hawes against Grimes. Final seconds falling away. Oh, off the bounce. But you have to teach yourself this feeling is great. This feeling wins. Minute. It's special. I don't feel like we have any agendas except for one and that's a win. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go give us the follow. And you know what? How about one last thing from Coach Pope to get your weekend going? I'm going to get a scholarship to King's College. I probably shouldn't brag, but Dad got amazing astonished. 